Hello and welcome to part two of earning easy credits on the world circuits. As this is part two, we're going to be looking at the European tracks today. Just a reminder that this is my opinion on the circuits. You might find some that are easier and some that are more difficult. The specific tracks we're looking at are Goodwood, Monza, Deep Forest Raceway, Red Bull Ring, Eager Nordwand and Sardinia. As you'll see next to it, I've put the total amount of credits you can earn if you earn gold. And if you choose to do these tracks, you can earn a total of just over 6 million credits. If you do enjoy these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe, I greatly appreciate it. The first track we're going to start with is Goodwood. I haven't done too many races at Goodwood myself, but this was the first time that I've done a complete lap of the circuit, so it was a good chance to learn the track. In my opinion, the two most difficult corners on this track are this one right here. I prefer to brake a little bit earlier just to be able to get the rotation in the car and allow you to get a swifter exit. Moving on to sector 3, this elongated right hander caused me quite a few difficulties, it seems to just go on forever, but after watching this back I realised I can use a lot more of the track than I actually did. Now for the full lap itself, I prefer to have my ghost on for this one. I didn't have any delay on it so it was set at zero. Don't be afraid to use the ghost if you need to. Again I prefer to brake a little bit earlier here just to be able to get the rotation in the car. Just to be able to get around the corner. But there is a lot of room on the left hand side of the track if you do feel comfortable braking a bit later. Now with this corner, as you can see, I did not take this very well. I approached it at a far too narrow angle. It needed to be a lot more wider on the left-hand side, but we somehow got away with it. If you earn gold in all of the sectors at Goodwood, you will earn yourself 399,000 credits. The next track we are going to be looking at is Monza. As you can see here, I've already done some previously, however, I haven't got gold in the final lap. For turn one, you're gonna break at the 150 meter mark, all the way down to first. Get yourself over those curbs and then don't accelerate until your car is fully straight.
for sector two, you are going to break at the 150 meter mark again. Down to second, over the kerbs this time. Got a little bit too much kerb then. But as you can see, it allows us to power the speed so we easily earn gold. For this sector, all we're going to do is stay in third gear when we're going around the corners. On the second Lasmo, use a bit more of the inside kerb. For sector 4, we're going to break about the 120 meter mark. Down into second gear, up into third gear on the exit. And then when we're out of the chicane, up into fourth. And for the final sector, we're breaking at the 100 meter mark. I prefer to go down to second here to get the rotation, but you might prefer third, it's up to you. Now the hot lap of, now the challenge of putting it all together. Breaking at 150 meters, down into first. Get your right tires over the right curb, and then your left tires over the left curb. Don't accelerate until you're near enough straight. Coming up to the check, coming up to the second chicane, we're breaking out the 150 meter mark. Down into second gear over both the kerbs. As you can see they're much smoother than the second sector. For both Lesmo corners you're going to go down into third. Stick to as tight as the inside as you possibly can. We're up to the third chicane breaking at the 120 meter mark. Down into second over the kerbs ships to third and then when we when we're out of the chicane up into fourth. Next braking zone breaking out 100 meters. You might prefer third gear here it's up to you but I prefer second and then it's a straight run to the line. When you earn gold in all the Monza challenges, you will earn yourself 660,000 credits, giving us a total of 1,050,000 credits. The next track we're going to look at is Deep Forest Raceway. First sector here is pretty simple. Hit the braking point at 150 meters. Stick to the inside. I uh, went quite wide here, but I still managed to get the time. So there is a bit, little bit of leeway in this, uh, in this sector. Now the second sector is the most challenging, this will make or break your hot lap that you do. So we're sticking to the inside kerbs, down into third there, sticking to the kerb on the left hand side, down into second, really tight on the inside here. Run a little bit wide here, need to aim to hug that wall if we can. When we get to the corner we're going to start braking. Next braking point, down into first to get us that rotation. For sector three, we're breaking just at the 150 meter mark. Down into second, 
run a little bit wide on the exit, but we're okay. And then a straight run to the line. And for the hot lap, we're breaking at the 150 meter mark. I went a little bit wide on this corner so I could have a better exit. Now remember the second sector is the most important part. This will make or break the lap that you're doing. As we almost have a big moment there. Hug the wall here as tight as possible. Much tighter than our second sector lap there. Almost had a moment there, managed to save it. Breaking at the corner. Down into first. Now we just need to get our breaking point right at 150 metres. I actually went down into first here. Just to see if it felt any different. When you have earned gold in all the Deep Forest Raceway challenges, you will earn yourself 1,248,000 credits, putting our total up to 2,298,000. The next track we are looking at is the Red Bull Ring. For turn one, you're looking to position yourself over the kerbs. Break about 75 meters. We're gonna use a lot of inside kerb here. When we get to the braking point, we're braking at 100 metres and over the inside apex. For sector 2, we're braking at the 120 metre mark. Again, I went a little bit wide here just to get a better exit. And for sector 3, we're breaking at the 50 metre mark. Stay in fourth if you feel like you can carry the speed. If not, go down to third. Use all the kerb on the left hand side. Final corner, we're using a lot of inside kerb there. Now for the hot lap to string it all together, position our car over the left hand side, braking at 75 metres, Use the, using a lot of inside kerb. Coming up to turn 3, braking at 100 metres. Breaking at the 75 metre mark. I've gone a little bit wide here, just so I can get a better exit. Third, actually outbroke myself here and seemed to lose a lot of time. Compared to the ghost, but we somehow managed to make it back. Back down to third. Two corners left. 
breaking at the 50 meter mark. Remember you can use fourth here if you want to carry the speed or you can use third like I did. Back down to third, didn't use as much curb there as the, as the third set to practice but it's fine. When you earn gold in all the Red Bull Ring challenges, you will earn yourself 1,248,000 credits, putting our total at 3,546,000. The next track we're going to be looking at is Eiger Nordwand. The first sector here is the most difficult, so once you've mastered this, you should be fine for the rest of the lap. Breaking just after the stewards on the left hand side. Aim to get your inside tyres on the inside of both turns 1 and 2, or as close as you can. The next braking point, again position your car in the middle of the track. Swing it over to the right hand side, over to the left hand side. Once you feel that undulation, that's when you're going to start accelerating. Or sector 2, when it comes to braking, you want to position your car slightly inwards and make sure you're keeping a tighter line to the inside. Four sets of three where braking at the bottom of the dip. Make sure you turn in early, stay in fourth gear, although you can go down to third if, if you don't feel comfortable. Approaching the last corner, this is a, a double right hander, so we're going to turn in later. So for the hot lap, just remember we're braking just after the stewards on the left hand side, four turns one and two, keep it tight. Turn three, we're aiming towards the middle of the track, and then swing it out to the right, inside to the left when you feel the undulation, that's when you accelerate. the hairpin, aim my car towards the middle of the track, keep it tight on the inside. As we get towards this right hander we're breaking out the dip, keep it in fourth gear. Last two corners, remember it's a double right hander so we'll turn in later. And up to the line. You will earn yourself 1,248,000 credits, putting our total at 4,794,000. And for the final track, we're looking at the Sardinia Road track. Turn one can be quite difficult to get right, but you, when you start to ease off the brakes, that's when you're going to want to start turning. For turn four, I found it was easier to brake earlier than what the game is telling you. That way you're able to swing it round to the left to give you more rack to rotate round for that right hander. For sector two, this one is quite simple. For this left hander, you're going to need to break go down to second gear. It's, it's a long sweeping left hander, so just be careful because it can catch you out. For the next left hander, you can break a lot later around the 75 meter mark.
Four sector three when you're coming up to this left hand. All you need to do is let off and brake lightly. Next corner you can go down to first or second, doesn't really matter. All that matters is a good exit. So be sure to have your wheel and car as straight as possible before you decide to fully accelerate, otherwise you will lose the back end. And for the final time, let's put it together as a hot lap. So coming down the straight, if you're on a wheel, the force feedback can be quite difficult to manage. You can tell by the, the shakiness of it. You also focus on getting your braking point right and being as close to the inside apex as you can. As you can see there, I got a really good exit compared to my Ghost. Brake early, down to second, swing the car to the left to give you more rotation for the right. Just remember this is a long sweeping left hand so this can catch you out if you accelerate too early. For this next left hander you can break about the 75 meter point. For this left hander make sure to break slightly keeping it as close to the inside as you can. For the penultimate corner breaking at the 100 meter mark Make sure to focus on a good exit, don't accelerate too early otherwise you'll lose the back end. And then it's a straight run to the line. For earning all gold in the Sardinia Road Track Challenges, you will earn yourself 1,248,000 credits, putting our total at 6,042,000. So in total, after our six tracks, we have earned just over 6 million credits. If you have stayed to the end, thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Comment below just to let me know what you think of the six tracks that I recommended. Let me know if there are easier recommendations for me to try, and I'll be sure to try them out. But again, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the final video of the Asia Oceana tracks.